In honor of All Hallows' Eve, we figured we would talk about the ancient history of one of the most popular Halloween costumes worn to date, the mummy. Now, how much do you know about mummies, besides the fact that they are wrapped in cloth and buried in tombs? Well, let's first start with the word mummy and what it actually means. The word mummy derives from the Latin word mumia, which means embalmed corpse. Most people think that mummies have only been found in Egypt, but in fact, archaeologists have discovered them all around the world. Did you know that the mummies found are not just of human beings, but of animals as well? The cat is one of the most common mummies found throughout ancient Egypt. This is because some Egyptian gods took the form of a cat such as Bastet, believed to be the god who could protect the home from evil spirits or diseases. Additionally, they believed you could take your pets into the afterlife as well. Thus, cats were mummified just like their owners. Now, for the most interesting part about mummies, the mummification process. But first, let's answer the question, why did they believe mummification was so crucial and necessary? Simply put, they believed in an afterlife. They believed that in order for the individual to continue on after death, their body had to be intact and as lifelike as possible. The total mummification process takes about 70 days to complete. The quality of the mummification process varied depending on the deceased, ranking, status, and wealth. Several embalmers were needed to complete the task with the lead embalmer wearing a jackal mask for religious ceremonial purposes. First, the body is washed using water and salt. Then a hook was inserted through the nasal canal into the brain where the embalmers would use the hook to turn the brain into a liquid mush. Next, they would cut into the body and remove all of the organs except the heart. They didn't remove the heart because they believed it served as a guide for the dead to reach the afterlife and that it contained their soul. Then the body was stuffed with spices and sewn up and placed in a bed full of a specific salt called natron for 35 to 40 days. The purpose of the natron was to remove an excess moisture from the body, all this with the intention to preserve the flesh as best as possible. The process, of course, led to a not-so-great smelling corpse, so the embalmers used various oils and perfumes on the body, then wrapped it in linen. Last step was to place the mummy in a coffin, or sarcophagus. So, you are probably wondering just how well did the body stay intact for thousands of years? Well, it turns out, the ancient Egyptians did achieve a high degree of preservation, for it has allowed scientists to perform autopsies and determine the cause of death on numerous mummies. Pretty neat, huh? Well, we hoped you enjoyed today's video of Fast Facts. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and leave a like if you enjoyed. Until next time.